Hi guys. Um, I wanted to help a friend set up their Bard Perform um, setup, so I thought while I was doing it, um, I could turn it into a video to help them understand how to set it up, and at the same time, maybe others could take advantage of it as well. So what this guide will do is it will basically use a macro to switch from your Bard hotbar setup to your Archer bar setup, where we can store all of the song notes, and that way you don't have to disrupt your Bard setup. Um, or any of your um, layout for your bard. Um, what we'll do is we'll use two HUD layouts to do this um, and all the information that I've got was from a Reddit page which I'll link in the description and the layout for the, the HUD I've actually got from a Twitter post which I'll also post in the description. The two macros that we'll use I'll also put into the description so that way you can just copy and paste them in. Um, as I say, one will use the HUD layout 1, which is your normal HUD, and one will use HUD layout 2 um, for just the perform. So the first thing that we need to do is, once you're on your Bard, you need to unequip your Soul Stone, and that way you're now on your Archer class. Um, we're going to be using hotbars 1 to 4, so if you clear out hotbars 1 to 4, um, removing all the skills on here, so that way you've got a nice set of empty hotbars like so. Bear with me. I actually cleared five as well but I didn't mean to do that necessarily. We only need one to four. Okay so once you've done that you can then re-equip your soul stone to go back to Bard. Um, I don't know why I updated that. So then what we need to do is we need to go into the HUD layout and go to HUD layout 2. Now in here we need hotbars 1 to 4 but we don't really need anything else. So if you click on um, something that you want to change and then if you right click you can display it or hide it. So if the text is white then you're displaying it. If the text is blue like we can see 5 and 6 here hotbars um, then it's hidden. So because we only need hotbars 1 to 4 you can go ahead and get rid of everything else. I mean you don't have to, you can set this up however you want it to be set up. Um, some things you can't get rid of, so for example notices you can't get rid of those. Um, I believe the song gauge as well, you're not going to be able to get rid of that but that's fine, that's out of the way anyway. But we can get rid of everything else so we have a nice clear screen. So if I save that and come out of that now, yeah, as you can see, oh, we've still got a few things up there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So we now have just hotbars 1 to 4. Now, if you position them in such a way where you can set your notes out, so you can do hotbars 1 and 2 as so, hotbars 3 and 4, like so. Now, the way I've set it out like this is because these are going to be your normal notes and then up here you're going to have your sharps and your flats which as you'll know from a piano will be in the middle of each of the notes. So once you've done that if we go back to HUD layout 1 and this is where the first macro comes in. Um, I've already created it so I'll just go into my shared macros and show you here. So what this, hot bar, uh, what this macro does, it basically copies all of your skills from your Archer and Bard and swaps them over and then at the end of it it changes you to your HUD layout 2 which is now going to be our perform um, HUD layout. So I've called this macro perform Bard um, because that's basically what you're going to be turning into. So I'll copy that macro down over here on hot bar number 4 and then I'll click it and it'll take us over to, um, to our Archer menus even though we are still on Bard and then what I can do is copy the other one, the Battle Bard, which again changes everything back again but this one takes us back to HUD layout 1. Copy that back across also to number 4 and then there we go. So that will take us backwards and forwards. So now the next thing we need to do is set up the notes. So in your Bard actions go to Perform and then place your notes one by one placing the sharps and the flats above. So for example we would have C C sharp, D, D flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B. 
Now this C one is a bit of a peculiar one. This comes at the very, very end, so I'm just going to place it over here for now, because uh, as you can see, there's quite a difference in the two keys, uh, the two notes. So we'll carry on doing this now. So we'll go on to C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. A, B flat, B, and then C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, that was E wasn't it? Yep, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat and B and then we can add that note in there at the end. Now hopefully if I've done this right these should all go from a low to a high note. There we go and then you can use your macro to now easily switch backwards and forwards so you can go from your normal bard where you can use all of your normal skills and then with a quick press of a macro you can now go to your perform bard oh, you might want to lock your hot bars as well though I hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, just post them in the comments and I'll try and answer. But as I say, most of the information that I've got are from the two links that I've provided, one from Reddit and one from Twitter. Um, yeah, good luck.